So you've booked your holiday to Palermo and it's your first time visiting this beautiful, vibrant capital city of Sicily. So what are you going to do? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you my five top things that you should do and consider adding to your itinerary for your upcoming holiday to Palermo. There is so much to see and do in this city, but I think these five things that I'm about to suggest will add a really good foundation to your stay and help you to make the most of this incredible place. Do a church crawl and visit the many beautiful and mainly free churches and the cathedral itself in the center of Palermo. Even if you're not particularly religious, the majority of churches here are like works of art and they are absolutely worth a visit to see the incredible detail and design inside all of them. As a little side note, it gets extremely hot here in the afternoons in the summer and they also provide welcome relief from the beating sun. Not to mention that some even have private courtyards as well as the fact that other churches also have rooftop views of Palermo that you can benefit from. If you're interested to know more about the churches here in Palermo, make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for a video where I'll be taking you around my top favourite churches here in Palermo coming very soon. I also recommend a trip to Monte Pellegrino. This is where you will find the church of the patron saint of Palermo, Santa Rosalia. It's an extremely old church, which is built into the side of a cliff, but it is very, very special and definitely worth a visit. Just 20 minutes outside of Palermo, you can come across Monreale. Monreale houses a, an incredible cathedral, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is rumored to have over 2000 kilograms of gold that makes up the historic mosaics inside the cathedral itself. It's beautiful. The second thing that I would recommend you do is of course visit the famous sites in Palermo. There are literally so many and the majority of them are tourist traps but they are nevertheless extremely beautiful to see. I recommend that you navigate the majority of these places on foot. They are easily accessible but if you prefer to have a more of a guided experience there are sightseeing buses and private guided tours that you can book that can help to teach you more about the city. Seek out the city parks such as Villa Bonanno, a great place to relax and a tranquil spot right in the heart of Palermo. Via Maqueda is full of restaurants and bars, but be aware, a lot of these are tourist traps, so do your research. A new addition to Palermo is Italy's largest musical dancing fountain, which you can find by the marina. This fountain at night is illuminated and the fountain moves in coordination with the music it plays. It's very special. The next thing I would do would be to visit food markets. There are quite a few here in Palermo, but the one that I personally recommend is Capo Mercato. It's a bit smaller than the other food markets, but I prefer it for the atmosphere and also because my favorite street food place, Ariana's or Dinotes, is based there. Make sure you try all of the street food here in Palermo whether it be pasta al forno, seafood, panela and croquet, arancina, pizzette, you've got to try everything. And the street food markets are a great place, not only to sample the atmosphere, but also to sample some really great inexpensive food. Of course, you're going to want to buy some souvenirs on your trip. Why not consider buying a coppola, which is a typical Sicilian hat often made by hand in many of the artisan shops that you will find along Via Maqueda and surrounding streets. They are stunning and a real symbol of Sicily. You can also buy hand-painted images, 
handmade items, tea towels, magnets, everything you can imagine you can purchase in the many shops here. Just do your research a little bit. Don't buy from the shops where the quality is not as high. It's better to invest and buy something better. Of course, you are here, you have to visit Mondello. It is Palermo's famous city beach. However, if you are here in the summer, it's not a place I recommend. This is purely for off season visits. Spring, autumn, winter are when you will see this incredible beach at its best. And I highly recommend a visit there if this is when you are here. So I hope this video has helped to give you a foundation for your upcoming trip to Palermo. If you're interested to know more about life in Palermo, make sure you subscribe to this channel as over the coming weeks, I'll be showing you even more of Palermo along with tourist tips to help you to have an incredible time. Also, why not consider signing up to my newsletter where I share everyday insights, tourist tips, and also some very special news coming very soon that you might be very interested in if you plan to visit Palermo this year. Have a wonderful time in Palermo and I will see you in the next video.